My great great grandfather ran a shoe store. Your great great grandfather? Mm-hmm. Your great 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 And he opened up a shoe factory. And he figured that everybody in those days sold shoes, but none of them had names on them. So he put his name on the shoes. He covered the United States with the signs on all these little shoe stores all through the country. And so the name got well known. There's something that's pretty unique about working in a business that their family's been involved with for five generations. And it allowed both John and myself to spend 15, 20 years working with our father, which was a an experience that most people don't get to have. And we were fortunate because it was a lot of fun. You know, I think we all feel lucky. I mean, history matters, and it matters more as you get a little older. Uh, so you realize what a special thing it is. It seems like almost everybody you talk to has a fortunate story, their father or their grandfather. And it's something that's, that's very personal. It's more than about just lacing up a pair of shoes on your feet. For that day, when people are putting it on, it's important. And then, you know, for for some people, it's even more than that, where it becomes like part of their family history. We still try to put the same quality into the shoes as we did 125 years ago. And I don't think we strive to be the biggest or the, you know, make the most money or anything like that. I think we really build a business because we enjoyed doing business.